What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the div function in the math functions section. So div is short for divide, so if you watched one of my previous videos on multiply, uh, you'll know that this is the opposite of that. So again, like multiply, div is all about dividing one number by another number. Um, these numbers can either be floats or can be integers, uh, or it can be a mixture of the two. So it can be whole numbers, it can be decimal numbers, uh, or it can be a combination of both. Um, so let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. I've got my expressions flow. I've got my manual trigger up here, and I've got two number inputs. So I've got number one and number two. Then I have a compose action that I'm going to click into the inputs and head over to expressions. I'm going to scroll down until we get to the math functions. So we'll click see more math functions and then we'll scroll down until we see D. So um, again, it's only asking for two inputs. So it's asking for a dividend and it's also asking for a divisor. So it's basically just going to um, divide the first number by the second number and the result will be the, um, and the result will return that, that calculation. So we'll click div goes into the uh, expression bar at the top. Uh, we can click in here and click um, direct content and click number one, add a comma in and click number two because they're separated by a comma. I'll click OK and we can see updates in the compose action. So let's test this out. So we will I'll pull the trigger, we'll save and test uh, and what we'll do is we'll do six divided by two. So 6 divided by 2 should equal 3. And uh, we got 3, so I'm good at maths, me. Um, and it's that simple. So we can um, so we can see the inputs going in, and we can get the outputs here. And as I said, this also works for um, decimal numbers. So um, we'll click test again, and this time we'll choose, um, we'll choose 6.4. Uh, um, now and we'll divide that by 2. And we'll run, and uh, we'll wait for power to stretch up to hit cancel there. I may have hit cancel there, never mind. We'll just do it again. There's power automate having a bit of a moment. Ah, yeah, that didn't hit cancel. It was just being slow. So it outputs to 3.2. So the numbers we input is 6.4 divided by 2. And there we can put that out there. So as I kind of mentioned in my last video, um, but if you've not seen it, the way Power Automate does its maths is it works from the inside outwards. So um, what that means is it doesn't conform to the usual constraints of how you do multiplication and division and everything else. What it does is it works from the first function inside and then expands outwards. So um, you can, so this, this function only allows you to divide one number by another number, but what you could have in the middle is other calculations. So what we'll do is we'll remove this uh, and we'll say um, we want to divide, but we want to divide the multiplication uh, mult multiplication of um, two, uh, uh, and uh, we're also going to divide the multiplication of add uh, one and three, uh, but then the one we're multiplying it by is four, uh, and then the one we're dividing it by is like you know six or something like that. Now I'm wondering if I've got all my uh, uh, all my commas and all my brackets and everything in the right place, hopefully I do. If I try and update it, it might error. No, it does, it works, great. So this is, we're going to divide, but what we're going to divide is we're going to divide uh, the multiple of two uh, and one and three by four and then divide by six, if that makes any sense. So uh, we'll see uh, if that works because um, I've confused myself with that one. Um, but it didn't error, so that's that's good. And we'll see uh, what the output is. Oh no, it failed. Yeah, I reckon something's wrong in those, yeah. So uh, usually, 
usually it kicks out an error before this stage. Uh, maybe we should simplify this a little bit and just um, remove, uh, let's remove, uh, it should just be this bit, I think. So we're on multiply two and add 1.3. And that closes that one, and then we're at about a six. So that's that one. I think I may still have this wrong, but we'll not yet. Numbers are required. We'll run the flow. Done. Oh no, work this time. And now puts to one. So that's what we've kind of got. So yeah, so this divided the multiplication of two and three and one. So multiplied two by four. Um, and then divided by six, and then the output was on. So, um, uh, I know, so I, yeah. Um, so you can do all sorts of weird and wacky calculations and updates and all sorts of things with these, uh, uh, with these things, and that's how um, you can make them a lot more complex than this, but hopefully showing you the basics of this helps. And uh, even when I've been doing this for quite a while now, uh, I still make mistakes with all my uh, commas and brackets and braces and stuff. Usually Power Automate is pretty good at telling you when something is wrong at this point. Uh, but So I was quite surprised that it didn't that time. So you live, you learn. But anyway, I hope this is useful. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. Uh, if you're using this, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time.